time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important. You just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, 
He'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I've, I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Close your eyes. Got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past...
Just last year, CEO Martin Hatch founded a technical institute right down the street from Monarch headquarters and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, line. the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! 
He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time. Of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Three hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! Lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. Let's be in your office, be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there was nothing there. Huh? There was nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to monarch employees, get out of the 
Get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! William, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We 
need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> Treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna... Share it with me. Oh, All right, I'm gonna use the restroom. So, I'll leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Thanks for the gun.
Dr. Ramro? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. You can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks. Chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. -uh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. I will put in a good word for you. I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if you didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. Is that but I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, yeah, love work. Hold oh, right shit. there! Shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, hey, well, all you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here. still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that? Is 
disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of them. Life form. It's Dr. Kim. The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched, like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. As we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. But at this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate. I'll be here. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, 
Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. Don't, 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 changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop, and no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no,
Pussy hatch. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of Marduk's essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it just as people believe in Paul Sewing. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Sewing's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs>
Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I, I can get us on the list. All of this entire is. island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Your wife. Three months. Congratulations.
Did you okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott? Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen to me. Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped it me. It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke, you fuck. <sighs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul, oh. oh. what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! Jack, he wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing, minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, will you... Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a part of gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus. But... Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Paul, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. 
She's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. I need to wake my family. I'm afraid we have no time. Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen. Please. 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 No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. 
And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender that she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. If mom, I could, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm waking up to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way. But we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. It's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Paul Sawin's become unhinged. What about my treatments? He's triggered a catastrophe. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. And this is where we come in. Good evening, Dr. Amaral. You're five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. What was troubling me? is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. Sophia's loyal. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Dr. Holden, the protocol's been initiated. Liam? I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately.
Dr. Emerald, are you Where's there? Paul? I need to speak with Paul. Right this way. Paul. Sophia. You initiated it. You were right, it was time. Paul, have you taken your treatments? You can't go on without them. We need to get to the lifeboat. No, you need to come with me. You need to get things started. We need you. Just go. Okay? You just go, I'll be there. Commander Pierce, prep the chopper. I need to get to the swimming hall. Right away, sir. If you can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? Beth? It's Fiona. Do you copy? Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. Twelve-sided, small, metallic. Like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture.
Basement 5. to talk. Look, I was wrong, okay? Jack Joyce, we... He can use the CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. The CFR is what's powering this place right now, be honest. It, but I spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce, and he needs it. Just, if you... If you let Joyce use the CFR, then that means the lifeboat's gone. No, 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 that's not, no. That's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what you wanted these in the people, first place. These people, this is Monarch, okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? what you're asking. So, what's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. Sir, Liam Burke, he's trying to break into Monarch.
Jack, we know where the CFR is, but... Jack, it's Charlie, listen. It's at the top of the Monarch Tower, so you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. Jack? Jack. Jack. Fiona, stop. Jack! No, no, no. Look. That area up there is insanely secure. He's not gonna be able to get in. Hey, 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 wait! Wait. I need to finish this. I know, but I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. There's no way he's gonna be able to get past them alone. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay, tough chick? Everyone needs IT, Charlie. Fuck you. Hey, Charlie. You're an okay date. I know. They tell me he's a traitor. I'm not a traitor. I know what you want. You're protecting what's yours. I want to protect what's mine. We're the same now. And I need your help. And you need mine. You're looking for the lifeboat. Isn't that right? And you know what we're facing. I have a team down there. They will fix the fracture. Time will go on. But not if the CFR goes unprotected. CFR? It's our key. It's what makes the lifeboat possible. It powers it. But my enemies want it destroyed. You could keep it safe. And when this is over, your wife She'll be waiting for you. So I could take her with me. She'll survive. Liam, what is he talking about? I just... I think of what happens if we're down there unprotected. None of us are saved. you to go with him. He's gonna take you to the lifeboat. I'll find you when it's over. The top of Monarch Tower find the CFR in a striker suit. That's all you'll need. What your husband's doing for you. It's admirable.
don't agree. I thought I knew who he was. None of us ever know who we are. Basement five. Friends. We've changed things. The world. The universe. We're the first beings powerful enough to undo the very fabric that we're part of. And now. We must believe that we are powerful enough to set things straight again. We've all made sacrifices. We have all made sacrifices. But we're not just here to work for ourselves. We're here for our families, for mankind, to change history, to make history right here Right now, I have some other matters to attend to, so I will not be with you. But I know that you will succeed. Joyce, see if our defenses are down. It's all you. You're good to go. Step the fuck away from there! I can't! I can't, Liam! Get the fuck I away can't. from Mark! Get away! Joyce needs it. Joyce! Joyce can fix the fracture, Liam. You need to get the fuck out of here, Charlie. I'm not moving. Get out of here! I'm not moving, so you're gonna have to kill me! Once and for all, you're gonna have to fucking kill me! Because right now, Liam, I'm thinking about more than myself. You don't know what Joyce is going to do. No, I don't. But I have faith in Fiona. And she believes in Joyce. So I got to believe, too. Think about it. Fix a lifeboat, you save your wife. We fix a fracture, it saves us all. OK? So go ahead. Go ahead and kill me. It's not gonna make a fucking difference. But if you kill Joyce, then we have. Your perceptions, Liam, they're off. This world you know, this world is ending. One world's end 
was merely another's beginning. My world will be renewed. My world will see better. Time's up. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. 
I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Can you tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I. I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera and I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? What the? Hello? Hello, man. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Headquarters and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. 
Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. Now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Sounds like a terrifying thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Frontiers beyond anything mankind has seen. A 
along with its innovative research and design programs, Monarch has sought out investments within the city of Riverport in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so see you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! <laughs> 